Hello everyone, today I just want to talk about Bergentoma. I've been spending over 3 weeks of resin, around 3,000 resin or so, trying to make Toma Bergent work. And if you ask me if I would recommend it, I'd say almost, but no. It's an interesting comp, one that has powerful shielding and healing, so it's a very sturdy and comfy comp, but there's several issues to it. First though, let's talk about the comps and builds. Toma has what you'd expect for a Bergen build, 4-piece GD, all EM, R5 Kitane plus Spear for a mix of EM and energy gain. It's really important that your Toma gets ER substat rolls because he has massive ER needs. It's a very expensive build, you're gonna have to farm those rare EM pieces and then have them roll energy to charge. Then you need 5 billets for that cross spear, so already off to a very, very expensive start. Then we have Sinsho with a regular crit build, I don't think I need to explain this, so let's just move on. Finally, we have Yao Yao who applies Dendro and heals with 4-piece deep wood and I try to roll for a lot of ER subs and some crit subs. The crit is for Favonius Lance Prox because she needs around 230% ER to ensure she bursts on time and it just costs so much to farm those subs. The last slot can be anyone and should be changed depending on enemy lineup. Electro units with fast application like Fischl will allow Toma to deal big overload damage, anemo units like sucrose gives CC, and a dendro unit can be used to apply more dendro if needed. So what are the issues? Well, first, virgin damage is just undertuned. It's very low compared to say Hyper Bloom or Swirl, even in AoE situations where it's supposed to be better than Hyper Bloom. But the Abyss favors a single boss or two very tanky units, so it's quite rare where you'll find Bergeron more appropriate than Hyper Blue. There's also the previously mentioned substat requirements on everyone. Your Toma badly needs those ER subs or he just won't have his burst and the entire comp falls apart. Fortunately, there are 5 star upgrades to make this comp viable. First off is obviously Nahida. She can buff EM, applies far more Dendro. And if you give her a prototype Amber, she can be the healer as well because the comp is rather tanky and doesn't need that much healing. Kokomi can also be used so that you have better hydro application and healing. The issue is even with 5 star, Toma Bergen just feels like it always needs more. Toma needs more energy, you need more reactions to create blooms and not just end up burning enemies. You need more damage, you need CC, you need healing or some way to not die, etc. The sad part is that it's almost there. You can have solid clear times with Toma Bergen, but the cost is so high that it's questionable. Fortunately, if you do decide to stick with it, you end up with a very tanky and easy to play comp. It's just going to be very expensive.